Now, what if we have counter lines on our lot plan? Of course, the special tool to use there is the spline command. So let's go over towards the earlier lot plan that we have created. And let's assume that we have some series of counter lines crossing our lot plan. So invoke AutoCAD to do the spline command by typing SPL and then enter. After typing SPL, AutoCAD prompts you to specify the first point. Okay, so find your favorite spot and click the first point. So for me, I'll start from the bottom. So click. And then after clicking the first point, AutoCAD now prompts you to enter the next point or start tangency or tolerance. So just uh, leave it as is and let's just specify the next point. Okay, and then go on on specifying your next point until you create or you are happy with your curves or counter lines. And then after clicking your last point, make sure to press enter key. So hit the enter key to accept and finish the command. Okay, never use the escape command for the spline. Okay, so this is a very special command that or tool that only ends through the enter key. Okay, because by pressing the escape key, you will cancel your efforts. So let's try pressing the escape key after we have placed the points for the spline. So invoke again the spline command by hitting enter. And again, start anywhere where your heart desires and just create your favorite curves. Okay. And then after uh, locating your last point, try pressing escape on your keyboards. And escape, it cancels the command. Okay. So when using the spline command, don't forget that it shall only be finished with the enter key. Let's reinvoke again the spline command. So, enter again. And this time, let's try to change the method. Earlier, this uh, first spline that we created is created using the fit method or fit points. And let's try to change it by either clicking this option on the command prompt or just simply typing M on your keyboards and then enter and then you have the option to choose between fit points or control vertices so you could either click on the dynamic input or just type CB okay so it's your option for me I'll just click on the dynamic input and this time same process as we have previously done a while ago with the initial spline. So go ahead and create your contours. And then when you are happy with your contour line, just hit enter again. If you may notice, while creating the second spline, you saw there some dash lines as you locate the points of the spline so click on the second spline that you have created and these are the control vertices that we have located when we locate the points of our spline so you could click it and readjust your control lines so you could edit the curves of the spline using the control vertices, okay? With this triangle grip below the spline, you could click on this to convert it to either fit or control vertices, okay? So you could convert it to a fit point. So let's click that and it converts it into a fit point spline. So the difference now is the fit points rest directly on the spline itself while 
the CV or the control vertices are beyond the line. And I find the CV much more easily manipulated because of this particular configuration. So select the other spline to see the difference. Yes, we could change it also using the fit points. Okay, so fit points are square and the CV are circular. So similar with the CV spline, we could adjust also the fit points to refine our spline. And similarly, you could convert it also into a control vertices. Now let's create a polyline. So just below the lat plan, let's create a zigzag uh, contour using the polyline. So PL, enter, and let's say we have a uh, zigzag contour lines. Then enter. Now, we could also change this into a spline, okay? By either double-clicking or typing PE for polyline edit. So, PE, enter. It's polyline edit. Select the polyline and then the same contextual menu appears on the dynamic input. And you could choose between uh, fit curve or spline curve. So, let's escape first, okay? And copy this polyline. So, CO, enter. And just one instance of it. And select the first. And then PE again for polyline edit. And then enter. And let's choose fit. Okay? So, click on fit. You would notice that it was converted into smooth curve of arcs resting on the vertices of the polyline so press escape and then select you would notice there it's similar to the fit point spline so this is where the initial location of our vertices of the polyline so let's undo by double clicking again the spline or I mean the polyline so double click and click on the curve okay so the curve it will revert it back into the polyline and let's choose a spline this time click on spline and it's much more better as a contour line rather than the fit okay so, it depends on your situation or on what you want to create. You could choose between uh, fit or spline to make your polylines curved. But anyway, you can always revert it back to the original polyline. So, that is a polyline edit. You could do a lot with this and try to experiment, okay? Just escape to exit the p-edit command.